my channel if this is your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in today's video i'm going to be making a simple video on how to cut pencil gown with three layer pleats with slits so we are going to achieve how to cut pencil gown with three layers pleats with slits in this video so if you are interested in knowing how to achieve that stay tuned and click on the subscribe button okay so what are the basic measurements required we have our shoulder measurements bust measurements waist hip and our gown length don't forget to join us on facebook td designs and also on instagram tg designs i'm going to go ahead and put down the details in the description box below and you can also visit our website we have amazing illustration on our website so i'm going to put down the details in the description box if you have any topic you want us to make a video on feel free to drop it in the comment section or if you have any question feel free to drop it in the comment section and i'm going to create a video on that so let's go ahead and calculate our measurements our shoulder measurement is 14 so we have 14 divided by 2 we have 7 inches i'm going to go ahead and add 1 inch to it because it's sleeveless and i also want it to have like a stripe okay so i'll go ahead and add 1 inch i have 8 inches my bust is 38 38 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 1 we have inches our bust is 30 30 plus 2 our waist rather is 30 30 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 10 inches our hip is 40 40 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 1 we have 11.5 inches now our gown length is 62 so we are going to have a lot of calculations to achieve our gown length but it's nothing to be worried about okay so just relax and then follow the steps 62 now 62 we are going to go ahead and deduct what we are using for our pencil gown and we have 34 inches so we go ahead and deduct 62 from 34 we have 28 inches right now this 28 inches simply means that that's what we are going to have for the lower part where we are going to have our three layer split okay so you go ahead and divide your 28 by 3 divide your 28 by 3 and we are going to have about 9.5 so we have 9.5 now i'm also going to go ahead and add my sewing allowance to it so i'll go ahead and add my sewing allowance to it, and i'm going to add two inches for my sewing allowance so plus two i'm going to have 11 0.5 inches so what, sim what this simply means is that for every of the layers of our pleats we are going to have 11.5 11.5 and we are going to have 11.5 right now for the third layer because that is the last layer we are also going to include our sewing allowance to the third layer we are also going to include our sewing allowance to the third layer so for the third layer now I'll go ahead and add extra two inches to the third layer so that that's where we have our sewing allowance so when we add extra two inches to it we are going to have 13.5 inches it simply means that for the last layer we are going to have 13.5 and for the other two layers of our pleats we are going to have 11.5 and from our shoulder to where our pencil skirt is our pencil gown is going to get up to we have 34 inches right that's what we have from shoulder to where our pencil gown is going to get up so we have 34 inches for that now these are the basic measurements required now often time most times when you want to achieve your pleats a lot of people usually ask that how will you know the amount of fabric required for your pleats how will you know the amount of fabric to calculate when you want to achieve your pleats now if you want to achieve a very full pleat go ahead and multiply your hip measurements by three if you want a very full pleat okay so our hip measurement here is 40 inches so we we'll multiply 40 by 3 we have 120 inches so it simply means that for the length that is the amount of fabric required 
we are going to make it of 120 inches right and why for the length of it we are going to have 11.5 11.5 and 13.5 for the lower one but if you are working with fabric that is not sufficient enough or you don't want your pleats to be too full go ahead and multiply your hip measurement by 2.5 so you multiply your hip measurement by 2.5 if you don't want it to be full but if you want to achieve a very full pleat go ahead and multiply your hip measurement by three so these are the basic measurements required in order to achieve this style okay so guys with me here i have my pattern paper and pattern papers are available at our store one thing i love about this pattern paper is the fact that it's about 60 inches long so when you want to achieve dresses that require long length i recommend you get this pattern paper this pattern paper is available i'm going to put that details in the description box below so now let's move straight into the video guys this is what we have so the first thing we are going to do now is we are going to go ahead and get our pencil gun first before we now calculate our before we calculate our pleats right so we have shoulder to arm o shoulder to arm o nine inches shoulder to bust nine and a half shoulder to under bust 13 and a half shoulder to waist 17 inches waist to upper hip six inches lower hip eight inches and We have our shoulder to our gown length, that is for the pencil skirt, for the pencil gown, which is 34 inches, right? So the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead with my pattern master and connect the lines together. After connecting it together, this is what we have. So the next thing we are going to do now is we are going to go ahead and label our lines and take our dart measurement, which is 4 inches. Four inches. We we'll go ahead and connect the lines together. On our waistline, we we'll go ahead and mark half inch on both sides. We we'll connect the lines together. Now, because I want the upper part to have bustier, I will go ahead and extend this dart line to our shoulder this way. Now, on the under bust, we'll go ahead and mark one quarter. We'll go ahead and mark it, or you can mark half inch, it depends on what you want. We'll go ahead and connect the lines together. Now we we'll make use of this part of our pattern master and pattern masters are available at our store. We we'll connect it to our waistline. We we'll also connect it this way. So this is what we are going to have. Now on our shoulder, we we'll go ahead and mark five inch or five and a half inches. It depends on what you want. So I'll go ahead and mark five and a half. I will connect it to my bust line. I will go ahead and connect it this way. So this is what we have. Now for us to mark our shoulder measurements, we'll go ahead and close our shoulder dart. So we'll close our shoulder dart. Once you've closed your shoulder dart, go ahead and take your shoulder measurements, which is eight inches who we'll mark our shoulder measurement now we've we'll closed that let me just put that this way now the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and mark our bust measurement which is 11 inches mark our bust measurement which is 11 inches. Our waist measurement is 10 inches. Our hip measurement, now you mark your hip on
on your lower hip you discover that we have upper hip and lower hip this upper hip enables you to know where your dad gets up to and the lower hip is where you're going to mark your hip measurement okay so on our lower hip now we'll go ahead and mark our hip measurement which is 11.5 now for your gown legs go ahead and deduct one inch or one and a half inches it depends on how pencil you want it to be so i'm going to go ahead and deduct one and a half so i'll mark 10 inches i will go ahead again with my i will go ahead again with my pattern master and connect the lines together trainings are available okay we have online training and physical training so this is what we are going to have so in order for us to connect our bust line now to let me close this up we'll make use of our ample curve which is also available it comes with our pattern set so this is what we are going to have for the front block okay this is what we are going to have for the front block now i'm going to go ahead and cut this out and show you guys what it looks like so i've gone ahead to cut out the lower part of our gown now for this upper part we are going to be adding to this our measurement now the reason why we're adding is because we've taken a lot at this point for our bustier so we're also going to add it up at this point so i'll just go ahead and add about so here we have one and a half inches that is the total inches we took away from here so i'll go ahead and add it here also one and a half one and a half inches extra right so we'll go ahead and connect this now so automatically this becomes our new line so we'll also go ahead now and connect it to our shoulder measurement so this becomes our new point because of this bustier so when we want to cut it out now we'll go ahead and cut out from this point what we are going to have for the upper block now we'll also go ahead and cut this out but before we do that we are going to go ahead and mark our neckline okay so for the wideness of my neckline now for the wideness of my neckline i'm going to make use of three inches for the wideness of our neckline i'll make use of three inches and for the deepness i'm going to make use of six inches now this is what we have right this is what we have now what we have is a sweetheart neckline okay note that you can use any kind of neckline that you want to achieve so you can have like a round neckline this way you can have a round neckline you can have four corner neckline just go ahead and mark the neckline that you want so i'll go ahead now and cut this out so after cutting it out this is what we have for the upper block we went ahead to cut out our dart this is what we have and for the lower part we have this so i'll go ahead now and set this aside what we are going to do now is we are going to go ahead and get our back block okay now we'll go ahead and mark our basic measurement just like the way we did for the front block where we have shoulder to bust nine and a half shoulder to arm or nine inches shoulder to under bust 13 and a half shoulder to waist waist to upper hip six inches waist to lower hip eight inches we'll go ahead and connect the lines together that the next thing we are going to do now is we'll go ahead and mark our that our zip allowance so for my zip allowance now i'm going to make use of one and a half inches note that you can use one and a half you can use two inches it depends on what you want to achieve right so i'll go ahead and connect it together once we are done with that the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and mark our dart measurements which we have four inches go ahead and mark four inches we we'll connect the lines together 
On our waistline, on our waistline, we'll go ahead and mark half inch on both sides. We'll connect it together. So this is what you are going to have. So we'll go ahead and mark our shoulder measurements, which is eight inches. We'll mark our shoulder measurement. On our bust line, we'll go ahead and mark our bust measurement, which is 11 inches. Our waist measurement, which is 10. And we'll mark our hip measurement on our lower hip, which is 11.5. Now, the number of inches you deduct for the front block, you are also going to maintain that for the back block. Now, we'll go ahead with our pattern master and connect the lines together. If you find this video very educative, please give this video a thumbs up, like, feel free to drop your questions or any topic you want us to treat, right? So, we'll go ahead with our arm o curve and connect it together. So for our back block, I'm going to have a single piece. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to go ahead and mark my neckline, which we made use of 3 inches. So I'll go ahead and mark my neckline. For the deepness of the neck, I'm going to go ahead and make use of 5 inches. And of course, I want like a square neckline. So I'll go ahead and connect this together. Now on my um, oh, I'll also mark one inch for my shoulder slope and then I'll connect it this way So this is what we have for the back block. I'll go ahead and Cut this out and show you guys what it looks like So for the back block we have a single piece this way I'll go ahead and set this aside. I'll be making use of this African print and African are available both in wholesale and in retail prices so the first thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and take away the lower part of our gown before we cut out the pencil side of the gown so go ahead and fold your fabric into two after folding it into two place your back block this way and then we'll go ahead to cut this out to give us two pieces for the lower part of our dress where we have three layers um pleats and don't forget that we said the first layer is 11.5 the second layer is 11.5 and then the third layer is 13.5 now what i mean by that is this okay let me just explain that so for the first layer this is what we have we have 11 Point five. You can see the first layer. Now the difference between the first layer and our second layer. This is our second layer is also eleven point five. You can see it's also eleven point five. So the distance is also eleven point five. So what this means is that. For the first layer, this is the first layer, we have 11.5. Now for the second layer, because we are going to have 11.5 also, you will also add your 11.5 to 11.5. So we are going to have about 23 inches, right? But the difference between the first layer and the second layer is 11.5. This is what I mean by first layer is 11.5, second layer is 11.5. But because the second layer is going to start from here also, you will add 11.5 to it. Now, for the third layer, which happens to be our last layer where we said we have 13.5 it simply means that the difference between this second layer and the third layer will have 13.5 so we'll go ahead and measure it you can see we have 13.5 for the third layer now this 13.5 don't forget that we have we have 23 inches from the upper part to where we have our second layer so 23 inches plus 13.5 that is what you are going to cut for the third layer i hope you guys understand that now let me just come over again first layer we have 11.5 for the first layer this is the first layer we have 11.5 for the first layer 
now for the second layer this way for the second layer this is our second layer we said we want the first layer to be we said we want the first layer and the second layer to be 11.5 it simply means the difference between our second our first layer and our second layer is 11.5 now for you to achieve that it means that you are going to add this 11.5 to it so for your second layer you are going to have 23 inches so the difference between the first layer and the second layer will have 11.5 this way okay now for our third layer for our third layer which happens to be the longest part we have 23 inches here so you are going to have 23 inches plus 13.5 so that it's could fall with extra 13.5 inches that is what you are going to cut for the lower part of our plate and for the length this way for the length of each of them we are going to have 120 inches so i'll go ahead and set this aside so you also go ahead and cut out your lining for every of your piece now for the lower part of our front block we'll go ahead and place our lining this way we'll stitch the side stitch the upper part and then we'll turn it and give it a nice purse so for the back block also where we have two pieces because of our zip allowance we've also gone ahead to cut out our lining now for this we'll just go ahead and stitch the neckline stitch the arm or stitch the two sides and we'll leave this lower part to turn it out so guys this is what we have so for the front block we've gone ahead to join the upper piece to our lower piece and also for the back block we've gone ahead to fix in our zip to give us one single piece right so the next thing we are going to do now is we are going to make use of our bust measurement waist measurement and our hip measurement to couple this up to give us a pencil gown then i'll show you guys how to fix in your pleats as we have our pencil gown effect now the next thing we went ahead to do is to go ahead and join our three layers of pleat this way to our pencil gown so you just go ahead and pleat each layer this is the first layer the second layer and the third layer to your pencil gown just to give it this step effect okay so thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoy this video